good morning good morning good morning everyone well i think it's afternoon actually now but i came on here because i've been out running around and i just want to tell you guys that this past weekend was my last weekend of working for a little while um i told myself i'm gonna take the month of january off and um maybe in february i'll end up picking up because i start school tomorrow i can't believe that i i thought about going back to school around this time last year and then as of march i started doing my whole savings sprill and stuff um and again i started out with 25 dollars in my account and i managed to reach over eight thousand dollars and stuff um uh, crazy um and then today i finally paid up four months of my rent because I was going to pay up a whole year, but everybody kept telling me, they're like, no, just pay, you know, four months, four months, four months, and this and that, because you never know what could happen, which is true. So I actually just paid four months of rent today. Um, I'm trying to think, I've been so busy today. I've been out all, well, all, a lot of the morning and stuff, trying to get stuff done before tomorrow. I got to come back home and clean my messy house. If I turn my camera on my house, y'all would be like, girl, you're trifling. <laughs> but yeah, it, it's not a mess. It's, it's really not bad, bad, but I need to get it together so I don't have to think about nothing. So I can just be online and just be more comfort. We did find out like um, on the 28th and stuff that we will be remote learning, which I'm so happy about. I was like really, really stressed out about whether or not we was going to be remote and stuff and she told us that we are going to be remote and i'm so happy about that because I, I don't know if i told you guys the commute to my school is about 51 minutes there and 51 minutes back i'm starting tomorrow the winter months and stuff so i know that's going to be crazy but i did hear that my school is actually really good about closing you know when the roads are bad and also letting people that live further know that um you know that we don't have school they let us know first before we leave home and everything so i'm really happy that we're going to be remote and i am a little bit happy too because like my daughter is like her school is half remote and then they do like some in person and stuff but i'm happy to be more at home with her and everything so i told her that like when i'm online guess what you're online no phone i don't care if you do you guys do have a break and stuff in between it's like chill out mode and stuff so it'll be a lot more you know structure for her and then for me as well and stuff so i've been really you know happy about that and stuff though um i can't believe it's just time to start like it's weird to me it is so weird to me that i'm getting ready to go through this journey this is something that i have wanted to do for a very long time um let me take this off. I just came from the stores. I can't just came from out running around and stuff. But this is just something that I've been wanting to do for a very, very long time. Something I thought that I could not do. Um, I've been wanting to be a nurse ever since I was a kid and stuff. Everybody has their dreams of what they want to do. I didn't think I could do it. So I went on, as I told you guys, I think in other videos that I went on and I got another degree in another field that I still, it holds true to my heart, but it, I wasn't really passionate about it. I have, a, I have an associate's degree in uh, social services and I did work in my field for about a year before, be, before deciding uh, it just not, it wasn't for me. I actually was fired and so, because I just really just didn't care. I know that sounds really bad, but I knew that it wasn't in my heart. And once I had got, you know, terminated from that job, I was like, I'll never work in this field until I find something. I, I, at that point, I, back in 2017, I still did not know. I knew I wanted to be a nurse, but I still didn't think that I could do it. But I was like, until I find something that I'm happy with, or at least in social services that I'm happy with doing. And so I was working with drug and alcoholics and stuff. And for me, it was a really big trigger. And I've never really shared that story with you guys. And I'll share that with you guys later in life of why working in that field was a really big trigger for me. But... um yeah, it's just one of the type of things I, I I still didn't know I wanted to be a nurse. And then fast forward, I got thinking about it more and more. And I was like, I'll just go back and get my RN because I had a lot of my prereqs done, except for like, you know, your chemistry, your microbiology, your statistics and all of that. And then I got discouraged. I went down to the school and stuff just to give you guys just a little 
uh, view of what happened and some of why it took me a while to go ahead and pursue the nursing career even after getting out of my degree field. Um, I went down to the school and they were like, hey, can you, you know, you got all these prereqs, but you know, in order to get into a lot of your nursing programs, you have to have a certain amount of points and stuff. And so the, the lady was like, you know, like an A is considered four points, but if you have a C, that's considered like one point. So the lady was like, would you mind completing ethics or political science again, you know, to get, you know, a higher ranking to in order to get into an RN program and I said no I'm not if you think I'm going to sit through ethics again if you think I'm going to sit through political science again like you're nuts so I got discouraged again and I was like forget it like I'm not doing this I'll just you know keep doing my job I make you know pretty good money doing what I do and stuff and it's just one of them type of things I, I keep getting messages coming through but it was just one of the type of things where I'm like I'm not going to do that and stuff so I later on decided to go along and get my LPN because I found out it's pretty much the same amount of money. The opportunities do vary, but because at the end of the day, I really do love geriatrics and stuff, and I don't know if that'll change for me later in life and stuff, I really don't have an issue in working in the field that a lot of your LPNs work in, but the, the scope you know, um, I don't want to say the scope, but the variety of different jobs out there for LPNs, you are still a nurse at the end of the day, but the, the, the variety of jobs are out there for LPNs. A lot of people think that LPNs can only work in long-term care, but we are able to work in hospitals, clinics, and this and that, and whatever else, you know? And so I was like, this is what I want to do. You know, I'm 33. I just turned 33 two weeks ago, y'all. And so... I just kind of felt like I'm ready. Like I've been going to school since Jesus, you know what I mean? Since I was able to go to school and I feel like it's time, you know, like I went to school. That's how you know when it's time for you to, to, to like do something different and become content in that also not content, but be happy with it and do what you want to do. When you go to school for one degree and I actually have a friend on here and stuff that we met, um, in a group and we, and I follow her, follow her. Her name is, um, Reese. Re Queen Reese, I believe it is on, I'm sorry, girl. I know you're probably like, girl, but follow her. I actually put her link down inside my description box and make sure you guys follow her because she's actually in her LPN journey and I love her to death because she shoots for the stars. I'm talking about like honors. And I was mad because, you know, they gave me a 95 and I felt like I should have got a hundred percent. I'm like, what? You know what I mean? So y'all watch her. She's another uh, inspiring nurse as well and stuff. But um, when for me, I had already got a degree. So I was like, okay, I'm done. You know, I'm ready to live my life. You know what I'm saying? Do what I have to do. But I was not happy in that field. So I'm telling y'all out here, if there is something that you truly want to do, like don't be lazy about it. Because that's what I did. I was like, forget it. Like I can't do the nursing then I'm just going to go to the second best thing. And the second best thing, I put my time, my energy in it and stuff in social services, got the degree in it and still was not happy with it. But I am happy that I do have it because social services, like I said, is very near and dear to my heart. It's just not what I desire to do 100%. But one of the things that I did want to say about social services was uh, when I do become a nurse, because nursing is such a broad area, I will be able to use my degree with it because they do have LPN case managers. So by me being a nurse and also having a degree in social services, I can work for like hospice and, you know, do case management if I desire to do it. But, you know, we'll see. I don't know. My biggest goal is to become a wound nurse and stuff. I really, a lot of people are like, ew, like wounds crazy. I don't mind it. I've never been one to watch like bloody gory stuff when it comes to like movies, but when it comes to wounds, I don't mind doing it because at the end of the day, it's about the healing. And I just feel as if, if a resident comes in and they have a wound on their coccyx area, as you guys know, that's their, the bone of their bottom and stuff, you know, they have a wound on their coccyx area from pressure wounds and you can almost see, as they say, the white meat and almost to the bone of their body, it is my job to heal that wound, you know? And by me being able to be a wound nurse, I can watch the healing or, you know, the not healing of that wound and stuff. So it does something for me to watch my patient to be able to heal and not just push pills or not just you know work on g-tubes and trachs which you know that's all a part of nursing but i'm a, all about uh as they call it the holistic part of uh nursing and stuff and dealing with 
the wounds for me because it's about the healing. I'll be able to watch them wounds go from this big to, you know, as I'm healing it, you know, shrink down and close up. That's what my, that's the job I just desire to do and stuff. You know, you got people who like psych. Uh, uh, no, not me, but yeah. But I just want to jump on here and say, hey, and let y'all know that, um, that school starts for me tomorrow. So I've been out running around. I just ordered three new tires for my car. And I will tell you guys about that story and how I was truly, 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 truly blessed um, by somebody in a Facebook group and stuff. And it really, it really touched my heart. Um, I got a few other things I need to talk about, but I'm actually got some running around to do so I can get my day started and be productive while my kid is still at school. Cause y'all know once these kids get home, it's a totally different world and stuff though. So I'm going to try to get some running around so I can get home and get stuff done before I have to be in class tomorrow by 8 15 and i want to get some studying done i hope you guys have a wonderful wonderful day and for all you nurses that are out there who are aspiring to be a nurse who are thinking about being a nurse who don't know if nursing is for you even though you know that it's something that you're passionate about do it like i'm telling you guys do it and stuff you know like wait until you are ready i'm not saying just jump into something and oh, this is what I want to do. This is what I've been wanting to do since I was five years old. Do it when the time is right, but do it. All right, you guys have a great day, wonderful day, everything all the above and stuff. Stay blessed.